13 Action News Live at 5 begins with breaking news on the boy who went missing. Only 24 hours after telling us he was innocent, the boy's father is now charged with his son's murder. Aaron Joseph's family is devastated, and they spoke to us just minutes ago about the new development. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine has been following this story all day. Leslie. Trisha, Steve, yeah, we spent much of the day trying to track down any family related to this 13 year old mother, and we did just speak to them moments ago. They tell us this mother is distraught tonight, not only over what happened to Aaron, her 13 year old son, but the fact that the person responsible for his death could have been his father. Why and how could you do this? How could you look at your son and leave him alone? and walk away and leave him there for four months. Now that was Aaron's cousin that you heard from there. She said the family had gone looking for Aaron after they reported him missing two weeks ago. We also learned earlier that Aaron's father, Paul Jones, accused of killing the 13 year old, did have custody of him at the time the boy went missing. Yesterday from behind bars, we did speak to Paul Jones. He said the last time he saw his son was back in December, but didn't report it to police because he had a warrant out for his arrest. Today, police saying they had enough substantial evidence to charge Paul Jones with his son's death. Listen as we spoke to Paul yesterday as he claimed his innocence. They found my son and hope that they, he's alive and I'm innocent. Tonight, police say they cannot positively confirm that the body they did find was that of Aaron Jones, but they still say they have substantial evidence to charge Paul Jones with the death of his son. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News.